My name is Nina Shaker, and I am a composer. Um, I, I work a lot with um, concert music. Um, I write a lot for, for orchestras, for other kinds of ensembles, but then I'm also starting to do more producing work. And um, I think I'm, I'm trying to grow a lot as an artist right now. And, and with this, it was like, just kind of fun. And like, oh, I felt like, um, like a kid in the candy store. <laughs> it's just like really exciting and fun to try different things. What I love about a lot of your songs is that it's so emotive and yet like it could be for a really wide range of experiences. You know, it could be like emblematic of a friendship. It could be emblematic of a family, even like a mother daughter relationship or something like that. It could be emblematic of a romantic relationship. And so I really love how open that is and and so i think when i was um playing around with the lyrics because i i really wanted to i i love working with with words and in and, and kind of playing around and um kind of reshaping things and and that was kind of a big thing i wanted to keep but also maybe like explore a little bit more and i love that that line in the middle with the can we just get together that that one and I, I think I, I was kind of thinking about how can I capture that sort of nostalgia feel and I mean that's kind of emblematic of the whole song too I mean like just that idea of old you and um, like different versions of ourselves and in memory and um, I was I was thinking a lot about like how do you capture that sort of nostalgic feel and, and so like in the middle when that line I repeat a lot. Um, I kind of do this funky, like panned um, kind of ping pong sort of effect um, where it, like the sound is a lot more spatialized and the, the audio is kind of like, I use a lot of synths that were kind of more, um, I don't know, it's like distorted in a way that it's like further back in the sound just with the EQ and like, a little bit more, um, I think I was trying to capture that idea of memory like that. So like kind of coming from all at you. So, but a lot of that came from just the way that that line sounded, just like the way it was sung. I, I used a lot of resonators and exploring like the harmonic spectrum of the sound to kind of create this sort of ethereal effect. And then um, I panned it so uh, it was kind of going from right to left or, you know, like kind of going all the way around. Um, and then it kind of created this pinball effect when I layered it a lot. Um, and yeah, I was really going for this kind of arcade sound. I wanted it to sound like it had attitude <laughs> or like that it had, it was like kind of like there's some like other emotion that's like attached to it besides even just like nostalgia or, or sadness, but there's a little bit of like, you know, grit. I mean, I'm always thinking about my audience and kind of what is their background, but I, I think actually I've gotten in a good way. I've gotten more selfish as an artist. Like I, I think I've like felt before that I, I had to like create something, you know, for other people. And, and I do still feel that way in, in some ways, but I think for me, a lot of, especially my recent work has been um, kind of exploring my sense of self and like the process of making it often feels really personal and cathartic and um, almost like, to me, that process even matters more than like the product itself. And, and like, so sometimes it's funny cause I'll like, I would have gone on this big journey in, in something that I've made. And then like, when I present it, like other people don't necessarily know like that full emotional journey that I just had, but they'll have like a really different reaction to um, like, 
what they just heard than knowing the full backstory and like everything that was in my mind when I was making it. And, and I think that that's okay. Like, I think that it's okay that people can have, like, take what they, um, you know, like they engage with work really differently than I might. And like, they can take what they need from it. And, um, but like, that might be different than like what I went through when I was putting, like putting myself into it. Um, but I, it, but in a way it feels liberating also because when so much of the care is, is put into like the process of making it, then it almost kind of like takes the weight off of like, oh, I hope like, how are people going to like it? How is it going to be received? Um, because then it's like, I, you know, I've, I've grown so much from working on something um, and that's like really what matters, you know, it doesn't really matter what anybody else um, thinks about it. And I, I think that that's kind of, I've kind of been feeling that more the last few months and it's been a really like empowering thing. Cause I, before I would always be so, you know, I, I would be proud of what I made, but I think I was quite self-conscious also and really like worried about like insecure about how are people going to receive my work and um and now I, I think I've just kind of found a new joy in, in what I make and um just really focusing on my own self-growth um in that process <laughs>